Welcome back to Craft Corner with me. Uh, this is our fifth week together, but this is also unfortunately our last week together with Craft Corner. I've had lots of fun with you guys and I hope you guys have had fun making the things that I've been posting for you guys. Uh, but today, for our last session, we are going to be making something super simple but super fun. So, to start, we're going to be making paper airplanes, okay? So, I'm going to be using four pieces of white paper because I'm going to be showing you how to make four different paper airplanes, okay? So, I'm going to be using this kind. You're also going to need some tape. This is my little tape roll. Please grab tape. Um, if you want some markers or pens or pencil crayons, whatever you have at home to design your airplanes, go ahead and grab those. I know I'll be using some markers and stuff to color my paper airplanes, but last but not least, you're going to need some newspaper. We're only going to be using one piece, one large piece um, out of this. So go ahead and grab these materials if you have them. Come back and I will show you and we can get started. To begin, we are going to fold our paper in half. Your teachers at school might call this the hot dog fold. That's what I learned. Okay. So now that you have your hot dog fold, you're going to unfold it back out. Okay? So you have this crease in the middle. Then you're going to take these two corners and you're going to fold them in, okay? So just folding them against the crease. So we have one fold. And one more next fold, okay? Then we are going to fold it again. So from here, there's like an imaginary line down to this corner. That's where we're going to try to fold. It's going to come kind of down on a diagonal closer to the corner. Okay? Making this line up with the crease. So I'm just taking it here, lining this corner up against the crease. So you can see we have this and it doesn't go right down to the corner, but it's gonna come right before it. And then you're just gonna press down and fold, okay? And you're gonna do the same on the other side. So I've grabbed it, folded it against the crease, fold this guy back in. Okay, so now your airplane should look something like this, okay? So from here, you are going to fold it in half again. Make sure these inside flaps are on the inside of your fold, not on the outside. So you want to fold it in, not out, okay? Again, we're just folding it against that crease that we began with, making sure it's all flat and nice, okay? Then we're going to create an imaginary straight line here and that's where we're going to fold just so it's like the same okay there's an imaginary line right here see that i'm just folding okay and we're gonna unfold it, flip it over, do it on the other side. So it has the same fold, okay? So now once you have the, the crease fold, you can open it up, okay? And now you've got an airplane. This one's called the dart. <clears throat> Okay, for our second one, 
we are going to be making a paper airplane called the jet. So we made the dart, now we're onto the jet. So, to start, we are going to do the same exact hot dog fold that we did in the last one. Okay, so now you got your hot dog fold. Unfold it. Okay. Next, same exact thing as last time, you are going to fold the top corners into the middle to line up against the crevice that we created or the crease that we created already at the beginning. Okay. So now we have, we have this. Okay. For the third step, we are actually going to do the same third step that we did on our last one. So, we take this corner, right, fold it in, line it up against your crease, and then press down. Okay, and then do the same on the other side. You should have something that looks like this again. But now, instead of what we did last time, we are going to take the point of our airplane and we are going to fold it down. A good amount. Then, what we're going to do is bring this point back to here, but we're not going to just do this. We are going to make sure it has another fold to it, okay, and then press it down so it has these like little triangles on the side. I just want to color these in so it's easier for you to see. Okay? So then you should have something that looks like this. From here, we are going to do the fold that we did on our last one. Okay? I'm just going to fold it, make sure it's all good. Once you've done this, again, you're going to take your sides and you're going to make some wings. Okay? Just folding them out. So I remember that imaginary line. You just take it, fold it down. Okay, now we're going to do the same on the other side. So we want to bring this down. Okay, now we have this, and voila! Ooh, it's got like, a cool point to it. Okay, this is what you got. This one's called, again, the jet. If you want, you can even like fold these up on the sides. Like you can totally make it however you want. It's your paper airplane. So if you want to add other folds, make it cool, there's my jet. Okay, that's number two. Okay, so for our third paper airplane, we are going to be making one called the glider. 
For this one, you're going to need to do the exact same hot dog fold we've been doing all along. Then you're going to unfold it. Then you're going to fold the corners in. And from here, you're going to fold it in again like we've been doing this whole entire time. Okay, Folding those pieces in. So now you have this again. Okay, from here, you're going to take your point and you're going to fold it back in like we did last time. From here, you're going to actually fold the outside. So you're going to flip it around. The blank side with no folds is up. Then you're going to take it and fold it in half. Then from here, we're going to remember that imaginary line we've been talking about. That kind of goes down. Well, that was wonky, but it goes down here. That's what we're going to do again on both sides. So I'm creating the wings. gonna flip it around and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's nicely lined up the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect of course. Okay and then what you have here is the glider. Okay. So it's got a little bit more weight on the tip of the paper airplane and it's lighter on the back so it'll fly differently. Again, you can you know, make any folds that you want, creating cool designs is totally a part of what you want for your airplane. I decided to fold those up, maybe you can make like some cuts, I don't know, totally up to you, okay? So that's my third paper airplane. For our fourth paper airplane and our last paper airplane, this one is going to require a little bit more work, okay? Um, from our white piece of paper, we're actually going to need a perfectly cut square, okay? Uh, there's a really easy way to do this. If you take one of the corners of your piece of paper and just fold it so the, this side lines up with the other side of the paper. It goes up. Yeah. Okay, you're just going to fold it. Then you have this like extra rectangle piece. What you're going to do, uh, you can take a pair of scissors and cut it. But what I like to do is fold it. Fold it and then flip it over again. Fold it. You just want it to be like easy enough to rip. So I press my nail against it. Fold it again. Press my nail against it. This makes like a really nice, easy edge. You know, sometimes you can mess up the scissors, so I always found this was a really easy way for me. Simple, okay? So now you can just get rid of your rectangle piece. We don't need that. All you need is this lovely square piece. Um, now that you have your square piece, I'm just gonna actually fix it up a little here. There we go, now it's square. Okay, so now we have a square. What we're going to do is our lovely hot dog fold, okay? So you're going to take it and do your hot dog fold. I'm noticing that 
it's not really even here so I might take my scissors and just cut it so it's a perfect square that's better <laughs> so from here I'm gonna open it up again like we've been doing and you're gonna fold these corners into the middle crease again Now that we have this, it's going to get a little different this time. Don't get ahead of yourself. We have a different step. We are going to take the point of our paper airplane and fold it in. Okay. Then from here, remember how we did that bended fold, but not completely? That's what we're going to do again here. So you're going to take the tip of it and you're going to make it come back out. Okay? Then you're just going to have a little piece which I'm, I'm just going to flip it over to show you what it should look like on the other side. You should just have this like little piece of triangle poking out. Okay? Then what you're going to do again is fold this little tip of the triangle in once again so it's like another fold and then if you flip it around it kind of just has this like it kind of looks like a trapezoid okay trapezoid kind of shape and I'm gonna flip it back over and from here once we have this big triangle fold okay and this triangle fold we're going to do our crease fold again here fold it like a hot bow bun then from here you're going to create your wings so you're going to need this to come out fold them however you want this is how I'm gonna fold them okay taking that part and yeah and you're gonna do it again I'll need this side and then what you have here is your glider honestly it isn't perfect because this tip is like not completely folded right but you know what that's the gist of it pretty cool again there's like more weight at the front and, um, you mean fold the wings however you want. Who cares? It's for fun. My glider. Loud cars up there. One. Two. Do whatever you want. See? Kind of looks like a frog. So we have made four paper airplanes. If you want, you can go ahead and decorate them however you want. Okay, I'm gonna. And um, then we'll get going onto the newspaper target. Okay, cool. So now I've put some like little sayings on my, like the name or whatever, on my paper airplanes. Just gonna use my markers and go over them.
one piece like this or if you want like a bigger kind of target space you can tape the two together right and then you have a bigger one um for this i think i'm going to show you what to do with just one and if you want to make yours bigger that's totally up to you okay um, for this you're also going to need some scissors, I forgot to mention, so go grab some scissors if you don't have any near you. And then, from here, what I want to do is, it might work best for some people if they grab like a, um, a bowl or something that has a circle shape on it and is able to trace around it. Um, I'm actually gonna go do that. I'm gonna go grab one of my bowls and I'll be right back. So I have two different size bowls here. This is what I'm gonna use as my tracing template. You want this whole thing to be your kind of target space okay so don't go cutting in from the side um, I suggest you fold the paper up in the middle of your circle and make a little slit okay so you have this slit cut in the middle of your circle from here you're just gonna stick your scissors in there and you're gonna cut up towards your line okay be very gentle going along and cutting out your circle. It does not whatsoever have to be perfect. It is okay if you mess up. But I'm just going very slowly. three holes um if you want you can take like a marker like a, I don't know black marker and you can put like um, increment numbers so like this one could be worth five points could be worth 15 points right and then let's see the big one's worth 50 points okay put 5 15 and 50 so from here now that you have all your circles cut out this is where you're going to need your tape okay so you're going to need tape and a, a doorway maybe your bedroom doorway that's where i'm going to do mine okay guys so i'm in my room right now this is the doorway i'm going to use i've got my newspaper target my paper airplanes and my tape what i'm going to do here and make sure it's okay with your parents or your family members that you're doing this you're going to take some tape You're gonna tape your target into your doorway. So there, there's my cat, Oscar, and my target. Um, I actually might fix it because now that I'm looking at it, it looks like the top right there is going to block the hole. So just give me one second. It's 
that's way better. So, now that I have my target up and I got my paper airplanes, now I can have some fun. Okay, let's see if I can get this in the 50. Cheer for me. <laughs> Didn't work, but still fun. I hope you guys have so much fun with all your paper airplanes and your target fun practice that you get to do. Let me know how it goes. Maybe post comment and the video down below. Uh, that would be great. I want to know how it goes for you guys because this was super fun for me to make. So it's bittersweet saying goodbye, but I had so much fun doing this program with you guys and uh, hopefully I get to do it again sometime. Uh, thank you, seriously, and have a great summer.